Hello, and welcome to Lewis University's Career Discovery Podcast, where we will be discussing our professional and executive coaching program. I'm Rhonda Richter, graduate admission counselor and partnership coordinator at Lewis University, and I'm here with our guest, Dr. Sheila Boysen, who is an associate professor in the Organizational Leadership Department and director of the MAOL program at Lewis University. Sheila is a master certified coach and has coached over 900 clients, totaling more than 3,000 hours of coaching experience. Sheila developed the professional and executive coaching program here at Lewis, and recently she helped the program to achieve accredited coach training program at ACTP accreditation from the International Coach Federation. Sheila, thank you for being here. I'm so happy to be here today. What does it mean to be an approved coaching training provider by the ICF? Great question. So that means that the International Coaching Federation, or the ICF, has reviewed our entire program, and they feel that we meet all of the requirements to train and prepare great coaches. The ACTP review process is tremendously rigorous and involves in-depth assessment of all aspects of our program by the ICF. It also is the highest level of approval by the ICF. There are a few other levels of approval for coach training programs. So this highest level fully prepares students that complete the program to go on and achieve either their associate coaching certification, which they call the ACC, or their professional coach certification, the PCC. And the biggest differentiator between these two levels of certification really comes down to the total number of coaching um, practice hours that the student has when they're ready to apply for their credential. Wonderful. Thank you. What exactly is coaching? (laughs) Another important question. So coaching is not traditional mentoring or training or therapy, which really are some of the other kind of helping sister professions that we see so often used interchangeably and therefore kind of confusing the definition of what coaching is. Coaches are trained to use powerful questions and make insightful observations to really support their clients or their coaches to come into new awareness and to create new approaches. It's very solution focused. It's a goals based process that's all about stretching both the who that your client is, as well as the how of how they want to accomplish things through their leadership. And the International Coaching Federation specifically defines coaching as partnering with clients in a thought provoking and creative process that inspires them to maximize their personal and professional potential. Awesome. What kind of content are you covering in the coaching program? So our coach training program is really based on the solution-focused model of coaching, but we also go into a number of other coaching tools that really complement and support that model. A few examples might be appreciative inquiry coaching, which is the process of applying appreciative inquiry to coaching, as well as going into the philosophy and the process behind career coaching, which we're seeing as a really growing specialization in the coaching industry, just to name a couple examples. And we really work to balance evidence-based theory and research with the practical application within our courses. And these range from the introduction course to a coaching methodologies course, as well as a business building course and a research and coaching assessment course. As an ICF-approved coach training program, we really put heavy emphasis on the coaching competencies and work to fully prepare students for their credential and the ICF coach knowledge assessment, which you'll see abbreviated as CKA throughout their website. You mentioned core competencies. What is that? So the International Coaching Federation put together a number of competencies that are actually observable behaviors in a coaching conversation. A number of things spanning from how we ask questions to how we build trust with our partner to how we actually implement things like ethics, building awareness. It's really the structure of the conversation. And one of the things that showcases the differences between coaching and some of these other helping professions that we just mentioned. Awesome. Thank you. What are the benefits of taking this program from Lewis University? So... I feel that one of the biggest benefits is the fact that we're 100% virtual. So all of the courses are offered in an accelerated, synchronous online format. 
What that means is the courses meet one time every week, but you can join that course meeting from anywhere in the world in the comfort of your own pajamas if you want to. So our blended academic rigor and the monitored practice creates well-trained coaches that are confident, that are ready to coach professionally. And most of the students are actually so confident with their coaching ability by the end of the program that they truly feel ready to go out and coach. All of our instructors and our coaching mentors are highly experienced coaches with their own coaching practice. They're actually doing coaching, not just teaching it. And all the students are assigned to a practice buddy throughout each of the courses. And this way they have an access to a variety of additional resources to draw upon as they're learning coaching, they're practicing coaching, and they're customizing their own learning experience along the way. Tell us a little bit about your journey being a coach. So my background predominantly is in human resources, and I spent about 10 years in industry um, prior to making a little bit of a transition. So while I was working, I was pursuing my MBA in one of those executive MBA programs. And as part of the program, we were each given an executive coach. And that was my very first ever exposure to the whole coaching thing. And I remember kind of filing it in the back of my head saying, I'm not totally sure what this is, but this is pretty cool. Um, and I think I'm going to want to learn a little bit more about this. Maybe this will become part of my career in some way down the road. And little did I know that's exactly what would happen. I ended up making the decision to pursue my doctorate after completing my MBA uh, in organization development. And actually, most of my research in that program focused around talent management and specifically executive coaching effectiveness. Shortly after completing that degree, I ended up going on to get my own coach training education and become a certified coach through the International Coaching Federation. Um, so I started off with that PCC, Professional Certified Coach Credential. I spent about three years um, as a director of a career services office at a large um, institution, working with students, figuring out what they wanted to be when they grew up and how to go about getting there. And then I ended up making another pivot and transition and ended up becoming a professor here at Lewis University, which gave me the opportunity to blend the two things that I love, teaching and coaching and building out our coaching curriculum here within the program. That sounds really interesting. So what kind of people would benefit from these courses? So individuals really join our program for lots of different reasons and really from many different walks of life. Sometimes we'll see someone who's looking to transition into a brand new full-time career in coaching. Maybe they're interested in coaching within an organization. We see consultants, trainers, and leaders that want to learn the skill set and be able to embody that coach approach in the work that they're already doing. And then sometimes we even have experienced coaches that are wanting that academic rigor and the value of a university-based certification process. So although the coaching courses can be taken by a student at large or as part of a six-course graduate-level certificate, they also can be used as a concentration within our full degree program, the Masters of Art in Organizational Leadership. So the program ends up attracting individuals with an interest in receiving a master's degree in that organizational leadership field with a coaching concentration as well. So really, whether someone's new to coaching or they already have coaching experience under their belt, there's something here for everyone. And the program really stretches you to wherever you want to go from whatever point it is that you're starting at. Well, what outcomes will students achieve by taking these courses? Absolutely. So students leave the program with everything they need to successfully coach executives and professionals as internal or independent external coaches. Once they have their Lewis University ACTP certificate and have logged 100 coaching hours, students have everything they need to go ahead and also apply for their ICF credential. However, the biggest outcome that I would say our graduates consistently share is how coaching has stretched them personally as an individual. Hearing that word transformational is really a common theme here. They can communicate better. They have more effective relationships, both professionally and personally. Those are probably some of the biggest outcomes we see in the program. 
Are employers seeking individuals with this type of training? They are. So we're actually seeing employers and organizations seeking individuals with this type of training as well as the credential in a few different ways. So we're starting to see more and more organizations that are looking to develop what we call a coaching culture within their organization. And what that is, is taking a lot of these principles and competencies and ingraining them in the culture to create a stronger, more positive culture. So organizations are very excited to hire individuals that have this skill set, this training, and this credential. Also, we're starting to see more organizations actually hire internal coaches, either as a full-time job within the organization or as part of another job or role within their training development or human resources part of the organization. And this credential is listed more and more as a requested thing that they have in their training background. Wonderful. Dr. Boysen, at the beginning of our discussion, I mentioned that you're a master certified coach. And so I was wondering, how does this affect the personal and executive coaching program as well as the students? So the master certified coach designation from the International Coaching Federation is the highest level of coaching credential that a coach can attain. Um, it's taken me quite a while to get to this point on my own journey of mastery. Um, and it wasn't necessarily something that I set out to do. Um, I was really excited when I achieved my first level of certification through the International Coaching Federation as a professional certified coach. But actually, one of my biggest reasons for going for this highest level of certification and mastery is that it would allow our program here to become fully accredited as an ACTP program provider by the International Coaching Federation. So in order to achieve this designation, um, I had to achieve a level of mastery that was actually observed by submitting my coaching examples through the International Coaching Federation and being marked at the highest level of MCC mastery. And also, I needed to have over 2,500 hours of actual coaching experience documented in order to even be eligible to go for this level. So it definitely was a personal journey of growth. Um, I think many great things have come from this, um, along with our accreditation of the program here at Lewis University. But I really encourage everyone who's going down this coaching journey, this coaching path, to really define what their own journey of mastery would look like, whether that is a credential, whether that is the highest level credential, or some other way that they want to work towards their own level of mastery. What are graduates from this program going off to do in their careers? We see a lot of different career paths coming out of the program, um, which is really exciting that there's so many different directions that you can take this. Some of them we hit on a little bit when we talked about individuals going into an organization. So some organizations are actually hiring full-time coaches to be employed by the company to help work with all the individuals um, within the organization. Some organizations are really looking to bring in individuals with this skill set so that they can be a better leader and manager in whatever capacity that they're already serving in. We also have many individuals that are looking to start their own coaching practice or their own coaching business. And this might be as a full-time coach making a full career pivot, but also we see a lot of individuals that are looking to add this as part of the portfolio of different things that they're doing. Maybe offering this alongside consulting, or facilitation, or other training types of opportunities. So really the possibilities are endless as far as what someone can do with this degree. And Rhonda, this is actually a great time to share that you went through the program yourself. What have you been doing with your training since then? I did, thank you for asking. I've been doing one-on-one -on -one coaching on the topics of life and wellness. It's been a lot of fun. I've grown as a coach and then I do motivational speaking events at libraries, corporate settings, and such. This has been a lot of fun because people get to experience who I am and what my coaching brings. So what can interested individuals do to start their coaching journey in the ACTP program at Lewis University? Great question. So you want to begin the application process by going on our website at lewisu.edu. And once you complete your application, um, someone from our office will be in touch with you to answer any questions that you have. I also encourage you to explore our website. We have a number of resources, um, articles, and videos that share information about the coaching program as well as the rest of our graduate program offerings. 
Thank you for tuning in to Lewis University's Career Discovery Podcast. For more information on the Organizational Leadership Program, you can contact the Graduate Admission Office at our email address, grad at lewisu.edu. Again, that's G-R-A-D at lewisu.edu.